Yo guys, welcome to Dre Apex's Modern House Creation. So, we are going to make a small modern house. I'm going to start off with some lime wool. We're going to need also some sandstone and grey stained clay. So we'll start off with the main window. So we'll go have four. Here we have four. Okay, there's okay, that's mainly the big window. So basically what we wanna do now is just make this three long so that's two with one more on the other side okay now I need to get the glass and put that across Okay, now we'll make the main entrance with sandstone. Okay, so we've got it like that. Now basically we need to get like this. So it's going to sort of look like that. So now we will bring this out, but what we'll do is, okay, we need to mark out the point where we want to stop the corner. So we'll have it there. Actually, we can't have it there like that. Hmm. Okay, I got an idea. We'll put another window here, like a small window. Chuck some glass into that. So it's sort of looking like that at the moment. So, now I think I just confused myself, but I guess. Okay, I'm going to bring this out to here. Okay, I'm just going to delete some of that. I'm going to keep it like this, and then I can go... Okay, so now we want to chuck some glass in there. Okay, so this house is sort of a weird shape, so what we want to do is now we're going to get some quartz. So I actually sort of like this. I'm going to make like a stairway coming up to it, so it's just going to be like a corner bit of it. So now what I'm going to do with the quartz is I'm going to come up to the corner here, have a three there, go like this. Now I'll bring this across. I'm 
I'm gonna delete this here. Okay, so I got that. Now it should look like this by the front. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring this out here. Which means I'm gonna have to bring this out and then bringing this out. So, we should have it like that. I'm going to do the same here. So it's like that now. I just gotta see the shape of the house for me. Now, one of the main things you wanna do is have another support pillar so it sort of looks better. Except what we're gonna do is we'll keep it like this low. So that we can go to Just through to just the end here. So there you go, there's the end. One sec. Yeah, the house is probably looking like this at the moment. Now we're going to get a wall of quartz. This just gives it that effect, like the other side. So the reason I have all this spare space is... So maybe you could have a... I don't know bookshelf there and have some like pot plants and stuff there so now we've got to get this roof done which I reckon says we don't have a lot of lime we might chuck some lime in here so what I reckon if we go like this yeah
So now what I might do is go like this. Close that up. Okay, that's the house basically done. I'm gonna actually waiting before. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is grab some black elements of like the grey stained clay and go like this. Okay, so now we've got this, okay, cool. So this will become the bedroom, and this will be the small living room. Whoop, okay, there. Wait, I'm gonna cut this out. Because I don't want to have that up bit now since it's too blocked. And it makes it look bigger. So, this. And I'll come back to use right after this with the furnished house. And we're back with the house. The final, the ending of the house. Let's go for a spin around. looking pretty smexy so we've got the bridge and everything in the outside don't worry about the chunks they haven't loaded for the 1.6.2 shaders let's go for a walk in I'm not very good at furnishing or well, I sort of am but I need a bigger room so it's a really small house so I've got the lounge room TV got some details up here Kitchen's very small because I had no room, and basically got the oversized bedroom which I shouldn't have made so big. So yeah, thanks guys for watching this video. Remember like, comment, and subscribe.